We're Craig and Kirsty, a British couple who left everything to travel the world in 2020, right before the global pandemic hit. After exploring a few countries in Europe, we're now back in the UK exploring closer to home, before we head off for more international travel soon. Join us as we show you around this corner of the world. Welcome to this week's adventure and one epic trip we've got in store for you. <laughs> yeah, we're in the beautiful coastal town of England called St Ives. So if we look like backpackers, it's because we are real backpackers today. And for <laughs> the next five days, we are going to hike the southwest coastal path from St Ives over to Marisian, or St Michael's Mount is our uh, aim destination. So in total, that's 43.7 miles or just over 70 kilometers um, hiking with our huge backpacks, which I've never done before. <laughs> so, uh, I underestimated yeah. how heavy these bags are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're right down in the very southwest of England. And the first part of our journey is taking us from beautiful St. Ives to Pendine. Yeah, so today we've got just 22 kilometers. I say just, that's actually our longest day. So we figured we'll do our longest day on the day we practiced. begin. Yeah. <laughs> this so, is going to hurt. Yeah. Our legs are going to hurt, our hips are going to hurt, and our shoulders are going to hurt. It's going to be great. And we're going to take you with us. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's go. So 13.7 miles for the first day. Let's head off. picturesque fishing harbour and seaside town of St Ives is one of TripAdvisor's top 10 European beach destinations, so it's no wonder that in the height of UK summertime, this little town is packed. The town is made up of a maze of cobbled streets, independent shops and fishermen's cottages. There are ice cream parlours everywhere you look, and of course plenty of options for fish and chips or a classic traditional Cornish pasty. As well as all those things this popular summer destination has to offer, Beautiful St Ives Harbour is home to a friendly and inquisitive seal, who we guess has made his way over from the famous Seal Island, which is just three and a half miles west of St Ives, and there are regular boat trips that take tourists out to see these beautiful Atlantic grey seals. Or you can just wait around the harbour for a while like we did, and get a cheeky glimpse as this one surfaces to say hello. So there's two main streets you can take in St Ives. You can either go on the harbour front, which is the route we've taken, and there's loads of places to sit and eat and grab a drink. It's beautiful. And the sun starts on this side of St Ives. And there's also the main high street, which runs parallel, just one street over. And again, there's lots of uh, shops and restaurants, um, places to buy goodies. But it's right in the thick of British summertime right now, so it's only 10 a.m. After a pandemic as well, so yeah. everyone has descended on St Ives. Yeah, it's not even, well it's just gone 10 a.m. and it's already super busy everywhere, so we're looking forward to getting over onto the coastal route and out of the town. <laughs> as <laughs> much as we love St Ives. It's hot. <laughs> yeah, but from June onwards, 
St Ives gets very busy. But there's so much to do, you can go out on boat rides, jet skis, there's just so much to do here and it's stunning. I don't know if we mentioned that. <laughs> And on the opposite side of St Ives Peninsula, the opposite side to the harbour, you have the stunning Porthmere Beach. And this is where Kirsty and I came for our first ever trip away. It was. I really <laughs> wish we could go down there and just go for a swim and the sand looks so soft. The colour of that water, that sea. Yeah. It's so hot today, we just want to get in the sea. <laughs> Hopefully, if we can get this part of the journey done quickly enough, we can jump in the sea later. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's hopeful thinking. We'll see. But yeah, check out the beach. We wish we could be down there. Time to hit the coastal path. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> We're now leaving St Ives, that's just behind us, and we're heading the 13.7 miles to Pendine. It's so nice to be leaving the crowds behind in St Ives and heading out on the peaceful coastal walk, beautiful scenery. Yeah, it was super busy in it St Ives. So busy. It's such a beautiful place, but with the weather finally being nice in the UK, we've had months and months of rain, so everyone just wants to get away on holiday.
So we've been walking for about two, two and a half hours now and I would say we're about two to three miles into the hike and we're about uh, halfway to Zena from St Ives and we're probably around about a quarter of the way to today's final location which is Pendine. Um, but the coastal path, so the first hour it was quite technical out of St Ives once you leave uh, the concreted footpath out of St Ives there are some really quite narrow bits of footpath, some angled rocks that make it quite tricky and some steep uphill and downhill sections. It's a little bit technical for that first hour and then after that first hour there's a few of those bits but you can see just behind me what I mean. This is less so than what I was talking about back just there but you can see the way the rocks are like protruding out the coastal path. And just a bit further back there you can see it's just a nice easy path to walk on but the color of the sea today is incredible and it's just so cruel we really want to go and get in it it's really hot today it must be around mid 20s easily um, so we've got the sun cream on we've got sunglasses and the cap on as well the cap really makes a big difference and um, we're just trying to stay as hydrated as possible so we've just stopped for lunch and then we're going to crack on after lunch um, to really make some good progress to get to Pendine. Can't wait for some food. We've just had lunch, so feeling really refreshed. Taken plenty of fluids on board because it is a seriously hot day. It's the trouble in the UK this year, it either seems to be an absolute washout or baking hot. Less so the baking hot, but it is this weekend. Just walking through these beautiful lavender fields and uh, we've got quite a few hours of hiking ahead of us and we've got to make it in time so that we can get to the pub for dinner because as I understand, last service is at eight o'clock. So we need to step on it. How are you doing, wifey? Cooking. <laughs> Cooking. Hi ho, hi ho, it's down the slope we go. <laughs> <laughs> and we're baking hot. <laughs> and I ate a lot. <laughs> <laughs> hi ho, <laughs> hi ho, hi ho, hi ho. <laughs> I like that. I'm baking hot and I ate a lot. <laughs> These views! Oh, can every day just be like this? Look at that. And look at this. <laughs> I am a sweaty mess. <laughs> You're not. I am. <laughs> Stunning. Who knew this was in England? All this. What are you fantasizing about getting from the pub, wifey? A bucket of lemonade with a dash of lime. Ooh. A whole bucket? At least. Yeah, that sounds good to me. I think I'll go the same for a bucket of Coke. Every so often what you'll find is natural features like a valley 
with a river running out to the sea which not only means that you have to descend down into the valley but you kind of have to go inland a little bit and then once you've crossed the river you can go back out but it also means you have to go uphill a bit so we're cursing whenever we see one of these rivers because <laughs> you can see straight across to the path the other side of the valley and it looks so close but obviously all that extra downward and distance effort to get to the other side it makes quite a difference but uh, it's part of the adventure if only we could go as the crow flies We've just got to this section in the path, which is literally a boulder field. Is that easy? <laughs> and you just have to scramble your way. You can see the path. Well, it's just the other side of these rocks that we've scrambled over. It just goes down. There's all these boulders spread across here. And then you just see the path flow out the other side. So these are the kind of things you have to navigate between St. Ives and Zena. That bit was not easy. I didn't like that bit. <laughs> no more rocks, please. Yep, that's right. That is a footpath. Whew. Bit of a scramble down there. So, a bit of an update. We are not far from Zena, and Zena is about halfway to Pendine. So, I think the plan is we're going to stop at Zena, get a drink fill up our water bottles staying hydrated is the most important thing today it is very hot um and then we're gonna press on from there how does that sound as a plan Mifey? yay i want to rest and some lemonade or something and i'm so completely out of water we tried our best to get loads of water for today but it's insanely hot and even though we had two smoothies with us each and our sports water bottle each that's now empty and we're only like just about halfway through the trek so we've definitely got we were hoping to just plow on but it's far too hot so we're gonna be sensible stop off at the pub because obviously on the southwest coastal path there are no amenities on this section along here so we have no choice the pub it is <laughs> so there's no outlets directly on the path but every so often there's trails that head back inland towards the coastal road which is I think about a, approximately a mile inland um, and along there there's pubs and other settlements so we've just found that we've got another set of rocks to scramble up being small is not helping me right now We're 10 minutes away from the pub, which is like music to our ears because we are seriously melting and we are completely dry now, completely out of all water and hydration. So, 10 minutes, we can do this. And here it is, we've arrived at the pub. It appeared like a mirage <laughs> in the distance. Good. And I can taste the drink now. I felt like I'm better than 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long 10 minutes. Yeah. Tinner's arms. We're so grateful for you. Yeah. It looks beautiful. This is my second pint of lemonade because I didn't have any buckets. 
Definitely need a little bit of typical British pub food. So I've got double egg chips and beans and Craig's gone for classic fish chips and peas. He's got so many peas. Look how many peas are on his plate. <laughs> There's so many. So we just had a nice little bit of food and lots of lemonade and coke at the pub. And while we're there, we came to the decision, because the pub is where all good decisions are made, right? That we can't be bothered to do any more of the hike. <laughs> It's really hard work and it is scorching hot this weekend. So we have decided we are gonna go get the car and just drive around Cornwall instead and go to the places we want to go to and still see the, the coastal path but without having to hike with the backpacks on because one day of hiking was enough for us. We're good. <laughs> to be honest it's not that we can't be bothered, it's the health <laughs> and safety yeah. thing. The weight of these bags and the heat at the moment is ridiculous. Yeah, everyone. It is so warm. Everyone that we saw on the trail today was struggling and stopping and doing shorter walks. So we were like, hmm, maybe we shouldn't be doing this this weekend. It's probably not the best weekend for it. It's a bit too hot. So we thought, you know, we'd take the health and safety option <laughs> and our sanity and just go to the beach instead. <laughs> but we hate giving in. I hate it. I feel yeah, like it's I not completed. Craig a lot to do this. And being at the but, pub and cooling down and having a drink, that definitely helped. Yeah, but it was really painful. There was a bit, <laughs> was. half an hour, or maybe half an hour to an hour before we got here, where we were scrambling up a path, and it literally had river water running down it. And he went really quiet. Stepping across <laughs> rocks, and it was so hot. It was about three, half three, and yeah, wow. But yeah, I'm that really happy. Was... It was a stunning walk overall, but it is crazy hot and we're super excited to just go to the beach and go and show you Cornwall from not on the coastal path. <laughs> <laughs> but still part of the coastal Paris. path. Yeah, we'll just go, we're going to get to go check stuff out and go to our favourite places and see what we see. Keep it, keep it nice and nice and free. We had all these strict plans and now we're like, let's just go with it. Like, and cool. show you around. Yeah. <laughs> but for now we've got a taxi and we're heading back to where our car is and we're either going to stay at that campsite or the campsite we would choose to stay at tonight. We're not sure yet. We don't know. We'll see. What an adventure, hey? It's like full-time travel again. We have no idea what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On to the next. See what happens. After a cosy night's sleep in our hiker's tent, we woke up and decided hiking in a heatwave was a terrible idea, and so we opted to travel around Cornwall in the luxury of a car and sensibly spend the next few days relaxing and surfing on Sennan Beach. Proof that sometimes a plan falls apart so an even better one can come together. Here's a lovely shot of St Michael's Mount, a tidal island that can be accessed on foot when the tide is low or by boat when the tide is high. It's linked to the town of Marazion, which is the point we had planned to finish our hike, but as you now know, we just drove here instead. Either way, you still get to enjoy the views of this beautiful Cornish spot. Join us next time as we explore more of southwest England and head over to the famous Cotswolds. We'll show you around the place dubbed England's prettiest village, as well as a few great food spots. If you can't wait that long, head over to our Instagram at TideKnotTravelers for daily updates on what we're currently up to and what's coming up in our future videos. The beach, we wish we could be down there. Time to hit the coastal path. Let's do this. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> We've just had lunch, so feeling really refreshed. Taking fl plenty. Of <laughs> We've just had lunch, so feeling really refreshed. I think the plan is that we're going to stop at Pendine, get a drink. Stop at Zenith. Uh, and so I think the plan is.